came in my life It turned my world around And where there was sorrow Nothing but joy can now be found uh, Peace like a river uh, Overtakes my soul And I ain't gotta ask nobody
Jesus. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Even in the hard times, my soul says yes. Even when I don't feel like it, my soul says yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on now, if your soul says yes, give on, give God a praise. Tell the Lord, yes, Lord. Whatever you want me to do, yes, Lord. Whatever you want me to say, yes, Lord. Wherever you want me to go, I'll say, yes, Lord. You say, here am I, send me. Wherever you want me to go, send me. I'll say, yes. Yes to your way. Yes to your will. Whatever you ask me, God, I surrender everything to you. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you. God, we praise you. Our soul says yes on this morning. God, we came here to give you the honor and the glory. No matter how we feel, no matter how it looks like, God, we are saying yes with our souls, yes with our minds, yes with our hearts. Everything we am, God, everything we got, we are saying yes to you on this morning. God, wherever, however you want to move, God, move in this place. Let your power and your anointing fall down all over this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We don't want to leave the same way we came because, God, we know that you are prayer at God. God, you know how to give us joy in the midst of sorrow. Hope for tomorrow. And because you are God and God by yourself, we say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. God, we praise you in our coming in. Praise you in our going out because you are God, the Holy One of Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let all God's people give God the glory all over the building. Say yes. Come on and say yes. Hallelujah. Say yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We know you're not slack concerning your promise. And your promises are yea and amen, God. And so we receive it on today. Bless your man servant on this day, God, as he bring forth the word of God. And as we celebrate in the name of Jesus, the pastor's anniversary, as we celebrate the first lady's anniversary, their anniversary on today, God, we are going to give you the glory and the honor for what you have done and what you are doing. And as we go forward to see what you're going to do. And so we praise you in advance. So the song said, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. I said, my soul cries out. Anybody's soul cry out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving us in the name of Jesus. So we lift up our voice and we honor you with the fruits of our lips on this morning to praise you, to worship you, to bless your name, to magnify you on this morning, to make you bigger than our problems, make you bigger than our situations because there is none like you throughout all the earth, oh God. And so we give you glory. Hallelujah. You be God in this place. God, you be God in this place. However you want to do it. Wherever you want to do it. Let it go from heart to heart and breast to breast, oh God. In your mighty name, Jesus. Because there is nobody. There is no power like the Holy Ghost power. There is no power like the Holy Ghost power. So send it on down on today. Send it on down. Hallelujah. We can't pray right until you send it down. We can't sing right until you send it down. We can't preach right until you send it down. So send it down in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. How many of you have been through too much not to give God praise? Not to worship him. Let me see the ones that's been through too much just to sit here and not give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I worship. It's for real. It ain't for fake. Hallelujah. That's your name, God. No one like you. No one like you. No one like you. 
Because my worship, because my worship, my worship is, my worship is for real. Hallelujah, we've been through too much to sit here and not give it glory. Because my worship, my worship is for real. My worship is Hallelujah. For real. Hallelujah, last time. Because my worship is, because my worship. My worship is, my worship is for real. Hallelujah. Somebody give him glory. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the name of the Lord in here. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. He's been too good to us. Hallelujah. This is April of 2024. Millions didn't make it. But we were the ones that did. And because of that,
song said, I've been through too much. I've been through too much not to worship him. I've been through too much, too much heartache, too much danger, too much sickness, too many surgeries and deaths in the family, lost jobs and lost homes and finance in trouble. I've been through too much not to worship him. Been places where I shouldn't have been. Should have been dead and gone. Should have been sleeping in my grave. But the Lord said, you shall live and not die. I've been through too much not to worship him. If that's your testimony, come on and clap your hands in this place. If you can testify to that. Because I personally know we got some folks in here who survived cancer. Come on, clap your hands. We got some folks in here who the, the, the trigger was pulled, but the gun didn't go off. Come on, clap. Clap your hands in here. My God. So we bless God today for his grace and for his mercy. He has been better to us than we deserve. And so we give him praise. Thank you for being here today. It's a celebration day. We are celebrating our pastor and first lady. Come on, clap your hands for Bishop elect Gerald Christopher. First lady, Stacy Christopher. Come on and bless the Lord for the angels of this house. Hallelujah. We give God glory for arriving at this day where we can celebrate the leadership that has been given to us and that we praise God for. They stand on a strong foundation. And so we bless God for the founders as well. Come on, clap your hands for Bishop Roger Christopher and Dr. Laura B. Christopher. Praise the Lord. Because we know without a foundation, you can't build. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're happy uh, and we're privileged to be here this day. And we're going to take just a few minutes now and prepare our hearts for giving. Uh, and then we will have a few announcements before we move on. If you want to give in the building, you can bring your offering uh, up here. We don't have a, a structured way that you walk. For those who are here for the first time, we want to welcome you. Uh, we want to welcome Bishop. Is that right? All right. I want to make sure I get you right. Robinson. That's it. Come on, clap your hands for Bishop Robinson. Yeah, Bishop Derek Robinson. Praise the Lord. All the way from St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, I lived there for five years, but they, they brought me on to Tennessee. I, I got roped in, and I've been here for 24. So praise God. But praise God for you and for those who are here with you. Come on, clap your hands for our guests who are in the building today. We praise God for you being here today. Um, and as we do it today, we're going to give, uh, bring your offering to the front. You can bring it and put it up here. And when you get it ready, give as the Lord has blessed you and as the Lord has purposed in your heart to give. You can do it electronically. If you want to give electronically, you can do that on Givelify at TWC Millington. Come on, babies. Our babies leading it off. They know how we do it. Amen. We just come on and give. And you don't have to do it just right now. If you want to give as the Lord leads you later in the service, these they stay out here the whole service. So anytime you feel bled, come on up and put something in here. You can give as the Lord lays it on your heart to give. Again, if you want to give electronically, it is TWC Millington. If you want to give on Givelify. Amen. Amen. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. And the word says that if you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men give into your bosom. And he said, with the same measure that you meet, it shall be measured to you again. So give cheerfully today. And allow the Lord to bless you. And while we're finishing that, I do want to just remind you that this afternoon at 2 o'clock, we will be here 
again in celebration of our pastor and first lady. At 2 o'clock, we will celebrate with uh, uh, Zion Hill Baptist Church and Pastor Michael Benton will be here at 2 o'clock. So we ask that you please come back this afternoon for that celebration. And just a couple of quick things for TWC. On next week, we will celebrate our ushers, missionaries, and our mothers. It'll be their annual day next Sunday. Uh, our speaker is going to be Missionary Eunice Mullen. Y'all know how she do it, so be in the house because she's going to bring a tough word that we always need. Amen? Amen. That's on next Sunday. And then on the fourth Sunday, just a reminder that we will be celebrating with Elder Jeffrey Williams and his wife at Tucker's Temple Church of God in Christ for their seventh anniversary. That's going to be on the fourth Sunday. We'll do that at 1045 a.m. The pastor is asking for those of us who go, please prepare to bless them with an offering of at least $25 if you can when we go to celebrate them on their anniversary. That's going to be on the fourth Sunday. So we'll make sure we keep reminding you of that. Um, and I think that's going to be everything, except I do want, for those who are here for the first time, we're not going to make you say anything, but if you're here for the first time, just stand up. Let us love on you for a minute. If you're here for the first time, amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We're so glad that you came. So glad to have you here. And on behalf of Pastor Gerald Christopher, uh, we, we lovingly call him Pastor Jay. On behalf of Pastor Jay and Lady Christopher, we welcome you here to the Word Church Millington, where we believe in loving, living, and teaching the Word of God. And so we are excited that you're here, and we pray that the Lord will bless you before you leave. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. I think that's it for me. We got some singers in the house that's going to bless us. Pastor Jay's going to come and take us a little bit further. And we want to just keep going on and higher and higher in celebration. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, everybody, one more time. Indulge me. Put your hands together for Jesus. Listen, y'all, um, I, I, I have the incredible task of uh, introducing this man that I don't even really know that well. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know him that well. But uh, I met him about a month ago um, out in Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, and, and, and yeah, we stepped off into the service. And, and when we stepped into the service, I knew God was there. And, and, and we went through the service. And then when this man got up to preach, he, he, preached, for, he preached for a good 80 minutes and shouted at 17. And we had a good time in the Lord. And I know he loves God. But this is the thing. Not too many people keep their word nowadays. Not too many people say, listen, I'm going look, I'm gonna do this for you, or I'm gonna be there for you. And they keep their word. So afterwards, around one o'clock in the morning, we were sitting um just, just talking and everything. I said, Well, I said, man, you know, um, my anniversary is, is gonna be, you know, um, on the second Sunday in April. He said, Oh, okay, I'll be there. And and sometimes you and sometimes you like eh, yeah okay, I said well I said well I said bitch if you come you're gonna have to preach now. And he said okay, and then about two weeks ago he told me he said listen we got it locked in I will be there for real, and that's the thing y'all. All I know is that he loves God, he's a man of God, and he is also a man of his word, and really y'all that's all I need to know about him right now. And that's what I'm saying. I, and then from this point on, we are really going to develop a good friendship um, um, with each other. And y'all listen, please, please, when it gets up, let us go with them. Let us ride that train with them. And y'all listen, I'm going to introduce to some and present to others, none other than my new friend. After, after the next song, the, uh, the, the next voice you will hear will be that of Bishop Derek Robinson of the Kingdom Church St. Louis presiding bishop of KDFI amen praise the Lord everybody praise the Lord everybody I don't know about y'all but I'm excited to be here on today to the pastor of this great house and the first lady, to my bishop, Bishop Robinson. Hallelujah. I'm just excited about, is anybody excited about Jesus? Is anybody excited about Jesus? Hallelujah. So I'm going to sing this song. We're going to call on Jesus a little bit. Is that all right? Tis so sweet 
to trust in Jesus and to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise and to know the said the Lord so Jesus How I trust you, how I prove you more and more, oh, Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace, oh, for grace. Oh, for grace to trust Him more. Hallelujah. Come on, let's tell them how precious Jesus is. Do me a favor, put your hands together like this, and we're going to take it to church.
one they're in and they are saved, somebody call the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody call him. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Just tell your neighbor, said neighbor, neighbor. Say, don't miss this, don't miss it. Because God's about to do something for you. Because his name is Jesus. Jesus. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Glory. Glory. Turn that just a Hallelujah. Listen, I don't care what you're thinking about, but I don't care what you're going through. Tell your neighbor, said his name is Jesus. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noonday. Jesus. The more I call him, the better I feel. Woo. feel the Holy Ghost in this room we're just trying to make sure that we get the mic real quick but the Holy Ghost is here just holler somebody said his name is Jesus oh glory to God glory to God glory to God Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You can be seen in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Check out that my soul. I got somebody to just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Where's the woman of God? I don't see her. Yeah, you are. Lift your hands. I heard the Holy Ghost say, God, yeah, Tamande be Koshaya. The Lord said, I took you through those years, but there's a greater level of anointing that's getting ready to hit your life. And the Lord said, the Lord says, the next 10 years, I see m m women, daughters, are getting ready, you get ready to pour. God said, I took you, and many tears that you cried, many times you had to suffer. The Lord says, I'm birthing a new thing in your belly. And when you open your mouth again, Woo! There's a fresh oil that just hits you. And not only that, just turn up a little bit or turn this to me so I can hear. Because I don't want to lose the voice, Luke. But hear what the Holy Ghost said. The Lord says that in this next year, God says, I'm getting ready to write. There's a book that's getting ready to come out of your belly. And the Lord says, you're going to begin to tell how you endured. And God said, and the Lord says, even though you felt like God, I'm ready to give it up. I'm ready to throw in. But people didn't see the tears. And the Holy Ghost says that now the baby is about to come forth. And the Lord says, you're about to sing under the anointing like you've never sang before. The Lord said, I've grace you with another level of oil. Hey, Shabba! Oh, shit, na 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 Oh, bless his name. Hiya. Oh, shit, na na Woo! Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Bishop, 
Lift your hands, man of God. I promise you, I came prepared for a message. But here's what the, the, the Holy Ghost is on me. Y'all forgive me. But Bishop, this is what I heard the Lord. God says, I transition you from what they call traditional ministry. The Lord says, I'm getting ready. There's a major entrepreneurship that's over your life. And the Lord said, multiple, he, I'm telling you, so yeah. The Lord said multiple streams of income. God said begin to start writing the plan. And the Lord says I'm getting ready to birth out of you. Even in this years of your senior years. The Lord says I'm getting ready to birth multiple streams of income. I see businesses begin to come up on, out of your belly. And the Lord says you have to move in another wave. And Kesha. And the Lord says I'm giving you every piece of finances that you desire. You say God I ain't ready to go home. I ain't ready to do that. The Lord says no because I'm getting ready to do something fresh in you so what first lady I I'm to my his wife mother mother when you get home get with Bishop because that's some money that's getting ready to flow get ready to write the business plan the business plans And the Lord, oh shit. The Lord says that now is the time. There's a fresh wind, but there's an open heaven. And the Lord said he didn't fully understand what was taking place. But the Lord said, I had already spoke to you concerning the plan. And the Lord says, Sheba. And the Lord says, now I'm getting ready to put the red carpet before you. And the Lord says, get ready to walk in. I'm going to supply every need for it. Glory to God. If you celebrate for Bishop and First Lady, Mother, I promise you, God will do it for you. Glory to God. Lift your hands. Listen, step in the middle aisle. I promise y'all I came to preach, but I got to follow the Holy Ghost. The Lord says, you just stepped into, you know, you, 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 you raised in the country. And so in the country, I'm from the country. So we got ponds everywhere and we used to go fish and stuff. You know how we do. And uh, y'all know, anybody know about some good fishing in the pond? Anybody other than me? The Lord says, you just stepped in the pond. And the Lord said, in the pond, everything that you need. God says, the last 20 years, God said, I'm getting ready to restore double to you. Woman of God, he didn't even understand, but when he jointly made it, when he made the connection for real, the Lord said, everything that you prayed for, 20 years ago, God says, even though you had to endure affliction and pain and ridicule and divorce, God said, but I'm getting ready to do newness all over you. And he told me nothing, but I'm telling you what the Lord said. Newness, fresh, woman of God, you in the pool. And the Lord said, whatever you need. Oh. I dash him out to celebrate with her. It's a na 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 na. Shaba ba ba, see a na na ba. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Woo! Step over here. Hold on. 
The Lord just called me. First lady, I heard you in the Holy Ghost. The Lord said as you was dancing, God says I begin to do a total whirlwind in your life and ministry. Do you hear me? You can't do that, but The Lord says there's a prophetic oil that have arrested on you for years. And sometimes you don't want to do it because it'd be so hard. You're like, Lord, if I say that, them folk really going to be mad at me. But the Lord says, I've given you the grace and the anointing. And the Lord says, in your time that ever, Koshaya, the Lord said, there's a prophetic in your feet. And when you dance, things shift. And the Lord, oh, can I tell you what I heard? The Lord says, y'all got to hear this in the Holy Ghost. The Lord says, as you dance, I'm taking this house to a whole nother realm in glory. Glory to God. a few of you in this room I know if you like me I've been in church all my life but there was a season of my life that I had another dance and I did if you ain't been there I'm sorry but a few of us in this room we we understood but I want to prophetically declare that God's about to do something for about 20 of you in this room that will say if and when I do dance, things happen. Now we think about David. David, this is my ideology of the text. When David danced out of his clothes, he was dancing in expectation that God is about to work something for me. I need about 15 of you that just would run down to this altar right here and say God's about to do something for me. And I'm about to praise him. Come on. Come on. Come on. About 15 of you. Woo. son this is what I was just saying to him your oldest son
your oldest son. Okay. Tracy. I heard this in the Holy Ghost. I don't know if his oldest is a boy or a girl, but whatever it is, the enemy has been attacking his children. And the Lord said to tell you that because I called you as a mother in Zion, that every attack of the enemy that will come against his kids, because I gave you a seed many years ago concerning your babies, the Lord says to tell you that every one of his kids are blessed. And no matter what the enemy will try to send their way, the Lord said to tell you that they're covered under the blood. Do you hear me? Your, your, listen, your grandson, do you have an oldest grandson or a young man that you deal, that you pray over? Do you, do you have, this one, I, you stand there, I seen this young man and the Holy Ghost said the enemy really wants to take him out. And the Lord said there's been several attacks. But the Lord said because of the anointing that rests on your life, the Lord said to tell you that no weapon and the Lord said time. And the Lord said, begin to cover even more in prayer. And the Lord says, I'm going to honor your request. And he's going to be really fully saved and going to be fully everything that you said. And the Lord said, because I honor you and I've called you as a mother in Zion. All right. That's what he said. It's already done. Lift your hands. Your mama here. You mama. Mama. I come to serve the devil notice that this one is called of God. She's been chosen but challenged. Meaning I've had to go through. I've had to endure. But you've been chosen for this battle. And everything that you need of God God is going to supply I don't care what mistake you made I don't care how it had to, the, the road had to be rough but God's hand is on your life One more time. Woo. The Lord says that when you pray, the Lord says there's an open access in the heavens for you. And Usha, she was a founding member here. Was she a founding member? Okay, I heard, this one I heard, he tried to give me the details, but this one I heard. The Lord said, because you helped found the church, the other church, wherever it was, you was one of the foundational members, this one I heard the Lord say. And the Lord says, because of your obedience in plowing the ground, God says, I'm getting ready to stir it up for you. And the Lord says, many years, that everything that you sold in tears, the Lord says, now, getting ready to reproduce everything that you labored for everything that you help others labor for
You in the blue? I know you, I know you, you know. Stand up real quick. Now you know, you've been comfortable so long. I'm good. There's a song in your belly. And now it's time. The Lord says, the next release is getting ready to come out of your obedience. And the Lord says, I'm taking you from your comfort place. And the Lord says, now I'm ready for you to walk in full obedience. There's been things the Lord has been speaking to you concerning things to do. Like God I ain't trying to do all that stuff. The Lord says, now nah, I'm pulling. Somebody just begin to pull her. Pull her. Somebody pull her. Come on. Get up a hole. Get out of the Messiah. We pull you to your new place. what I heard the Lord say to me. <laughs> Woman of God, I see you. Is any oil here? I'm going to touch your hand. <laughs> The Lord says, I put a healing anointing in your hand. And the Lord said, be careful when you begin to walk and touch in this next season of your life. And the Lord says that whatever you lay your hands on, God said, it shall be blessed. But when whoever that's sick, God says, I've called you to lay hands on them. And the Lord says, you're going to begin to see real healing. Was anybody who's close to you that you had that had to go through an illness? Anybody had to go through sickness? That's what the Lord said. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Lord said, I let you endure the sickness. But the Lord said, I've given you a healing anointing. And the reason your mother is still alive is because you were laying hands on her. And didn't even know it. It did have my soul. Who come by my soul, yeah? And the Lord says to tell you that everybody else is going to be reciprocants of what you got on your life.
from the sheep for her. But the Lord says, I transition you back to this region. Matter of fact, you ain't even want to come. You're like, I don't want to be that. No, no. But the Lord says, because of your obedience, when you get home, I want you to begin to write seven things that you are expecting God to manifest. And the Lord said, and begin to put it under your pillow. Begin to lay on it. And the Lord says that you're going to begin to see the imps of the blessing because of your obedience to the will of the Lord. Do you hear me? And woman of God, I come to tell you that, listen, you might as well look around now because you're not about to remain in the place you're in. <laughs> and the Lord says that even... The Lord says, I've called you as an intercessor. That's an Esther's anointing. And the Lord says, when you intercede, things begin to manifest. But I see you in prayer. And the Lord says, I'm taking you higher. Think it not strange concerning what you shall see. Do you hear me? God's about to show you, even wake you up in the midnight hours. You're going to see visions and dreams if it ain't already manifested. That's a dreamer. Matter of fact, that's some stuff you ain't you, you ain't long ago dreaming. Don't know what why I'm. That's a dreamer in you, but it's a prophetic dreamer. Begin to write them down and watch God manifest. Where your son at? What I'm about to say, just so the church know. See, you know, I, I ain't one of them prophets that'll say something that the pastor told me and said it came from the Lord. Anybody in here? The pastor told me what happened to his son. And I'm getting ready to tell him that every devil in hell that wants to trap you from the plan of God, I prophesy over your life that every dream every vision pastor touch his belly and i promise you if you had to cry and you 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 are like lord i don't want all these folk to see me with my tears but you even this week god said i was testing you and can i tell you that when you get home i want you to begin to start speaking over your life whatever you want to be whatever you declare over yourself whatever you want god to do be not weary in this place but God's about to manifest it for you. Just say, yes, Lord. And it is so. Woman of God in the black that's clapping your hands. <laughs> I don't know what this means. But just come up here. Stand right there. First lady, come in. The Lord just told me this, and I know this going to sound crazy for others. But the Lord said, the woman of God, she's strong for everybody. You're always pouring. And the Lord says, you're always sowing and giving. And sometimes you left weak and no one knows. But the, but the woman of God is about to hug you. And the Lord says, as she hugs you, she's hugging strength back unto you. Woo. Woo. Somebody holler strength. Oh, 
Priscilla. Receive your strength, woman of God. Ursula, as you walk, I saw you transition from one level to a whole nother dimension. But the Lord said your foot, everywhere your foot shall tread. We about to wrap it up because we got a service at 2 o'clock but the mouth of God is so big that he can prophesy to every one of us in this room I want you just to lift your hands and say God whatever you're doing in this season don't do it without me okay hold on Somebody shout happy anniversary. Pastor, happy anniversary. Said we love you. And I'm gonna tell you what I was gonna preach. I was gonna preach. I'm gonna give my time back because we're gonna praise him for what he's about to do. I was gonna preach out of 2 Corinthians 4 and 8. For we're hard pressed on every side. <laughs> Ah, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. So pastor, everything that you've been through, everything you had to endure for this last season of your life brought you to this point. And I want to declare that man of God, you made it through the storm. You made it through the battle. You made it and you endured hardship as a good soldier. And I come to prophesy to you that everything that has been laid up for you, there's a will, the, the will of the Lord. I see it before you and God is rolling it out before you. And this church, church, I want you to hear this, that everything that's getting ready to happen to your pastor if it's happening to our leader, that means it's getting ready to happen for us. Pastor, every plan, I see buildings all over this place. I, listen, tell somebody, say, I see buildings all over here. So when you go, this for him, but I'm talking to y'all. When y'all go out, I want you to look around. Because when y'all start seeing foundations being laid, God is getting ready to send millionaires to sow into your vision. So man of God begin to start writing it even more. And I want you, I preached this the other night, but I want you to write it so that whoever see it will say, I want to pour into that. And the, oh shy, and the Lord's getting ready, man of God. Not only is he going to pour into it, folk going to pour into it, but folk gonna, you're going to see an influx this house is going to be too small that you're going to have to say y'all we got to do something else God said because of your obedience to what God has spoken concerning you somebody clap your hands we getting ready to go I want somebody to go and listen grab your neighbor real quick grab somebody grab somebody by the hand grab somebody I know some of you ain't moved yet but grab somebody yeah. 
grab somebody by the hand and I want you to stand up. Come on, stand up. We, we about to go. We about to go. Stand up. And I want you to look at the neighbor, if you can. Look at your neighbor. Look at him in the eye. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. I prophesy to you today that every plan that you've been laid out to God, God is about to manifest it for you. And I believe that if I praise for you, that things will manifest. So neighbor, excuse me, as I move my feet and prophesy with it, that God is manifesting it for you now. Dance for your neighbor, prophesy with your feet for your neighbor. ready to go. The last time I told somebody to do that. See that's sometimes we got to obey the prophet because sometimes the Bible said what is foolish. He'll confound me to be wise. I told some people I was at the church and I said if you start prophesying with your feet you're going to see some manifest and I'm telling you that week folks start calling me. People had folks start getting new cars and credit raises and bonuses and all kinds of stuff. the pastor called me and said, I don't know what happened, but a breakout happened because our church don't do that. Listen, I don't know about what you're expecting the Lord to do, but I just need some folk that's really got some stuff laid out before God. Listen. So for the pastor about to come get the mic, I'm putting on my shoes. Because the Lord done already spoke. I came for a word. But when the Lord come in, I just came to encourage the people to tell you that greater is coming. Greater is coming for this house. Greater is coming to your house. And as God anoints and bless our leader, that everything that we need, and I come to prophesy that pastor, everything that you've labored, since you've been the leader of this house that you prayed about God says I'm beginning to manifest it and the Lord says this is going to be the house that you will see miracles transform folk are going to come in late and the Lord says they're going to leave out walking folk are going to come in sick and the, God says I'm going to show you the real glory that I place on your life and the Lord says, since the age of seven years old, the Lord says, I've called you as a prophet to the nation. And the Lord says that I'm going to reveal to you the mysteries that I've laid out before you. I've shared dreams with your mother concerning you. And the Lord says, I'm about to manifest it in Jesus' name. Y'all, we have to, we have to give the prophet a chance. 
There's no way he could know that God spoke to me at seven years old. I've never told anybody but my mama that. At least five, at least five of the things that he told some people in here, I've been working with these people on those things. I'm, 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 and I'm doing this to confirm you that God can speak to someone. There are true prophets in the world. And I just want to I just want to thank you, Bishop, for, for coming into the house and prophesying to the house. But let me warn you, do not make the prophet out of a lie. If he asks you to do something, do it. Because just think about it. Think about this. Everything that God is an if-then God. If you do this, then I'll do this. And it's true, like I said, I like you know, and, and and at this point, I don't care who don't believe, I don't care who, I, I, I don't, I don't, I can't care anymore, because God is doing something great here, and I hope everybody decides to go take the ride with me. But I'm telling y'all right now, God is God has spoken to the house. Y'all really, there's no way he could have known that. No way. Ain't no way. There's no way that it, my mom has told me that she's she's had dreams several times that she has not even said anything to me about. There's no way he could know that, y'all. There's no way. I I haven't even known him that long enough to talk to him about this stuff. So I hope. I hope people can embrace and see what God is doing. I hope people can embrace and see that God is really going to bless this house. And I thank God for what he is doing. We'll take it all the way down and we'll be here till 2 o'clock. Oh, Lord Jesus. Every time that I have any type of doubt, Every time something comes against me or someone or anything happens that makes me get any doubt, God comes along and he shows me that I'm doing what he asked me to do. And I want to assure the body that I don't make any decisions. I don't ask anybody to come without asking God first. God said, acknowledge him in everything that you do. And he will direct your path. So I haven't done anything here lightly. And I just want to tell you that I, I, I love each and every last one of you. Uh, the Kingdom Church, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for making that long drive. And next time you come, I promise you, you'll get some of that good Memphis chicken. I'm, I promise you. And, um, and, 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 and Y'all, let's just do the presentations at, at the second service. Let's just do it at the second service. Is that all right? Is it okay? I, I really don't know how to express what I feel right now. And and y'all know I, I'm not I'm not many times at a loss of words, but I'm I'm at a loss right now. God is making us ready. God is building us up. And no matter what happens, we stand on the rock with Jesus Christ. 
the chief cornerstone of the church. And no matter what devil of hell comes against us, their the weapon will not prosper. We say, thank God, and I'm going I'm to let the bishop come and let's, let us go. Come on, let us go. Grace be unto you. Let us go.